What's going on guys, it's Omniarch, and today we're going to be talking about the best equipment in Call of Duty World War 2. Now I feel like equipment isn't something that people normally talk about for a Call of Duty game when it comes down to what's the best for your class setup, because you're always talking about your best gun, or your best secondary maybe, and really your best perks, and I think um, those are the main things that people talk about when talking about how to create a class, but everybody knows that in World War 2 we actually have far less options as far as creating our class than we have in previous Call of Duty's and I think that makes every single choice super super important uh, and that's why we're gonna be talking about what the best equipment is for your class setups now of course out of the box everybody comes with the frag grenade and the concussion grenade and I'd say these two are very very versatile you can use them in pretty much any game mode and find some sort of use for them uh, but they're definitely not the best I mean I wouldn't say that I use my equipment either a frag or a concussion every game to get a kill or to help me out with a kill it just doesn't seem to be the case um every couple games yeah you'll get a kill with a frag or you'll use your concussion in an instance where you would have died otherwise but it just doesn't seem to pay off all the time and you want to use a piece of equipment right that's going to get you the most amount of kills like why would you use anything else and i think a lot of people you know when they unlock the sticky grenade they'll just upgrade to that and i'd say that's a little bit better than the frag because you know it just it, it just seems to get more kills it that's just from my personal experience and then of course some people use smoke grenades in war mode or if they're playing an objective and they're trying to capture a certain point or something like that uh and then you got the trolls running around with the throwing knives and and I don't think I ever, ever, ever see anybody running the gas grenades or the signal flares. Those just no one ever touches, uh, and for good reason, they're not very good. So that really leaves us down to one option, and that's going to be the S Mine, aka the Bouncing Betty. Now, if you guys don't know what the S Mine is, maybe you haven't played other Call of Duty games, or if you haven't gotten Call of Duty World War II yet, or maybe you got it for Christmas and you're just seeing this video, uh, the S Mine is basically the Bouncing Betty, and what it does is when an enemy walks over it or near it within a small radius, um, it'll actually shoot up and explode, uh, and as long as the enemy is fully standing they will die within that radius even when crouching I've died to the to the bouncing Betty in this game or the S mine when you do crouch you should only take damage instead of a full death uh, and you should if you go prone only take a little bit of damage if any at all um, however even though this piece of equipment is counterable like you can literally just when you hear it crouch or, or lay down and not die um, nobody seems to be doing that now of course in other Call of Duty games, like with the Bouncing Betty, this has been common knowledge, uh, but it seems that this bouncing, this version, the S Mine, actually detonates even faster than in previous Call of Duty games, so your reaction time has to be on point in order to not die from, from a, an S Mine. And I thought when I first discovered the S Mine, like when I first started playing with it, I was like, okay, you know, this is good right now, but people are going to start to counter it, right? Like as the game gets older, people are going to get sick of dying to the S Mine, and they're going to start to look for it or counter or whatever but I'm here to tell you that there's only one basic training that's gonna let you see through walls at the enemy equipment um, and no one is going to use that basic training I actually can't even remember what it's called I think it's instincts or so something like that I don't know um, it's just it's super irrelevant all it does is tell you when somebody's targeting targeting you off your screen um, and of course being able to see enemy equipment but there's just you only get one basic training and you're not gonna like sacrifice what it could be just for that right like you're not gonna you're not gonna build a class around s mines because you want to get the most kills possible not avoid just a random thing that some people are using so most people are going to be running hustle or prime or lookout or anything like that and they're not going to be running you know this random basic training that's not very good so that means for for everybody using S mines that no one's gonna be able to see them coming around a corner, uh, and with them detonating even faster, then they're most likely gonna get you a lot more kills than a frag grenade or a sticky grenade. Now the other thing too, right? Like in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, you had the claymores where you would lay them down and you would see the two red uh, laser beams coming out of them. So if someone places them near a doorway, a lot of times you can see them from a distance because there's these bright red lines and it's like okay there's a claymore right there even if they don't have the perk um to see them i think it was sit wrap or something like that then they can still tell that there's a claymore there right um in this game the s mines are 
teeny tiny little green ball or little green cylinders um, and they are a bright green but they're so small that you're never gonna notice them like like out of the peripheral of your eye when you're sprinting through a door or something like that like it it's even though it's a noticeable green it's not noticeable unless you're looking for it and a lot of times like I said you're just not gonna look for the S mine it's just it's too small you're not gonna check every single doorway every single corner if you're doing that, then you're moving the map. You're moving around the map super, super slow. Uh, and I've just found the enemies just aren't doing that. And I thought that people would start to do that more once the game was out for longer. Uh, but again, that has not been the case. And the past few games, like I've been using the S mine for over a week now. And it seems like every single game, I'm getting at least one or two kills with the S mine. Now, the gameplay that you're seeing here today is a little bit older. So I don't think I use it in this gameplay. Um, but I guarantee you, you can get at least one kill every single game if not more, by just running around with the S mine, and I put it on every class, even my submachine gun classes where I'm sprinting around, I'm not, you know, quote unquote camping or holding down a certain, you know, quadrant of the map. Like, even classes where I'm running around all the time, I'm placing an S mine as I'm running through like a high traffic area, right? Like if I know that spawns have flipped, so so where I am currently has no enemies, but it's somewhere that they're gonna be very soon once the spawns flip again, I'll drop an S mine right around a corner, uh, and then sure enough, like 30 seconds later, if le if not less, uh, I get a kill because they've spawned in. I've already traveled around the other side of the map, and they've run right into my S mine. Um, and another really, 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 really big thing, and this is probably the biggest tip that I could possibly give you, is that in free-for-all, if you play free-for-all, and I don't know if this works with other game modes, but I know it works for free-for-all, at least at the time of making this video, and this is December 20th, um, the S-mine is not taken into account when calculating your spawn. Yeah, that's right, that's a huge glitch in the spawn system right now. Um, if you plant an S-mine literally on top of a free-for-all spawn, your enemy can still spawn there and immediately die. There's nothing they can do. As soon as they spawn in, they trigger that S mine and they're dead. Um, so I think that's gonna be patched. Like I would hope that they would patch that at some point. Um, so I imagine that'll be patched very soon. But for right now, if you guys play free for all, and again, you can test this in other game modes, test it in team deathmatch and stuff like that. Um, and just place it right when you spawn and then try and stay alive until spawns flip and see what happens. Maybe that will um, be a spawn point for one of your enemies and they will die. Um, I Like I said, I know it works for free for all it's a known bug in the game right now so definitely give it a try um not to you know say hey go exploit the game so people have a shit time when they spawn but i feel like it's something that you guys should know anyway like i said guys um make sure you throw in the s mine on all of your classes even if it's a sprinting class just drop it in a high traffic area as you're passing through um and i know that you'll get at least one or two kills every single game with the s mine and if you're playing on free for all make sure you drop it as soon as you spawn because there's a very good chance that one of the enemy or one of the other players is going to spawn there very soon uh, and you will get that kill instantaneously so that's pretty much it guys now for the end of this video i actually want to talk about my last upload my last upload was a clash royale video um, i wanted to just upload it real quick just to see what you guys would say about that type of content obviously this is a first person shooter call of duty channel and i know that most of my fan base is here to watch me play call of duty or to watch me talk about call of duty or something like that or at the very least you expect to click on my video and see decent call of duty gameplay while you hear me talk um and that was very reflected in the numbers you guys didn't really watch that video there was like one comment on that video um, it just really didn't get much attention much appreciation or anything like that and of course I don't expect that right like you guys subscribe for Call of Duty I don't expect you to support anything that I upload to this channel otherwise so just so you guys know unless you want to see stuff like that I'm not gonna upload any more Clash Royale gameplay to this channel. Um, if you guys, again, if you want to see more of that, if you did watch it but didn't comment and you really liked it, let me know. Um, you can let me know on Instagram DMs or on Twitter DMs or anything like that. And this is a great time for me to say, you know, to all you new guys, you know, all the people that have subscribed over the past, you know, couple weeks, people who haven't seen um, some of my videos where I plug my social media, this is a great time for me to let you guys know that you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat chat and on Facebook um, at all the links in the description below and that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and hopefully you guys found something useful in this video if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you know the next time I upload and that's about it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys again soon peace